Here's my interview with Jeffrey Combs. I think I got this. Hi. They brought you back. You felt sorry about the internet. I'm staying at a hotel, so it's been iffy. Oh, that's the hotel. Yes, yes, yes. I have a for pain. <laughs> right. Let's try that photo one more time. I've got a little bit of a better that's connection here. So give me a great big smile. Okay. And Maria, uh, sure, yes. you're, only half your face is in the screen right now, just so you know. Only okay. half oh, I've, got, I've got her full face. I, okay, I don't. There, there she is. Okay. okay. All right. Jeez. So. Okay, is it done? Yeah, you're good to go. So, Maria, tell <laughs> okay, me. Okay, awesome. About, tell me about your mother. Uh, she she was born in Naples, Italy, and stuff. So she met my mom when she basically went to uh, Virginia and stuff back in the day. They they met at a Navy ball and everything. And when I was born in 1979, my father was 23. She was 41. So there's a bit of a difference there. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I was like, she liked them young. <laughs> I guess so. And, uh, <laughs> and, and so did she pass away? Yeah, she passed away in 2017. She was 79. She had dementia. So basically I had, I had to take care of her and stuff. And she was basically bouncing around like, like a ping pong ball. I took care of her in, in Florida. Then she went to my sister in Naples, Italy. That's 63, took care of her. Then she went to my other sister, my other sister in Virginia, that was 51. She took care of her. And then a couple of. Uh, I would say a couple years later, she passed on. She was married to a military guy, 20 years military. He found out that she had dementia, left her for his high school sweetheart. So, you know, is this, I don't know. I try not to think about it, you know. Yeah, that's right. kind of heartbreaking. Right, right when she needed oh, it. Oh, it is. It is. Right when she needed it. It is. I mean, right, I'm out of here, right? They were. Well, they were married for 30 years, too. And she didn't know how to speak or write English. She knew how to speak English, but not write English. So we were always there for her girls to help her. And then she lost her son back in 2004. He would have been 58 years old in January. They both passed on September. He was September 29th, 2004. She was September 10th, 2017. I just hope they're both together, you know, in heaven and everything, you know. I, I hope. It's just a hard to deal with at times, you know. That's a heartbreak. Hey, look at that cutie. Oh, yeah. Look hi. at her. That's, that's, that's Isabella. Hello. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Boy, that's my son acting out. 